What's up Pokemon fans? In today's video I'm going to be bringing you something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a top 10 Pokemon cards from my collection. So these cards, they may not be the most expensive cards in my collection, but each one has a story behind it, means something to me, or I just like it. So I'm going to do a countdown from my 10th favourite down to my first favourite in my collection. So here we go, we'll start with number 10. So the first card is a Dark Raichu from the Rocket Set. So this card is just awesome. First of all, how can you not like Raichu? It's the evolution from Pikachu where it all began. Pikachu, it all began with Pikachu. It evolves into Raichu, so you have to like Raichu. But the reason behind I like this card is not only is the artwork amazing, but it was the first secret rare in Pokemon. So as you can see, it's 83 of 82. It was the first secret rare, so when you had this card as a kid, you pulled it and you were like, just like secret rares nowadays they're two a penny like you can pull a secret rare in every single set and it's like oh i got a secret rare if you pull this secret rare from rocket set you were jumping out the window it's just absolutely amazing so there we go that's my number 10. coming in at number nine we have an arcanine now some of you might be looking at this and thinking what arcanine and yes the reason behind it is it's one of my favorite pokemon when I was a kid, I had this card, and obviously, you know, when you're a kid, you don't have a pocket full of money, so this was my highest HP card. It was 100 HP, but back then, in base set, you know, that was great. For a non holo card, flamethrower and takedown, giving you 80 damage, you know, it was, it, for people who didn't have a lot of money to keep going out and buying booster packs after booster packs after booster packs. This was an amazing card for me and it always it always stuck in my mind. So Arcanine is just up there for me. So that's number nine. Coming in at number eight, we have a hollow dragonite from the fossil set. I just I just love this artwork. It's just absolutely amazing. You got the the sort of rainbow colouring in the background of the hollow, it's just it's amazing. So the reason behind this being in my top 10 is simply just because of the artwork. It's just absolutely amazing. It's not, like it is a little bit cartoony, but it's not too much cartoony. Like in today's ones, you see it just all, it's all digitalized. Kind of like Digimon. So like Sun and Moon's come out now and it's just, I'm not hating on Digimon, but it's just, it's not as good. You know, these, these cards, when they, when they used to design these, like the artists, they were just, took so much detail. It's just crazy artwork, so yeah, I really love that card. That's my number eight. Coming in at number seven. Now, you may have seen me pull this actually in my first ever YouTube video. And that's the reason why it's in my top 10. It was my first pull, it's a secret rare, and it's a Mewtwo. So I've only had this card for about a week and a half, but it's in my top 10, and it's just because this is just gonna stick in my mind from when I first started this channel. This was the card I pulled for my first booster. So if you haven't checked out that video guys, go and check it out. It was an amazing pull and yeah, this one will all, I'll probably maybe get this graded. I'm not sure, it might get a nine. And um, there is a little bit of edgeware, but maybe I should get it graded just because it's, it's always gonna have a place in my hat. So there we have Mewtwo EX, secret rare. Now, coming in at number six is my favorite Pokemon. So if you don't know my favorite Pokemon, leave a comment down below while you're watching this. Have a quick guess. See if you know what my favorite Pokemon is, but it is Blastoise. So as you can see, Blastoise base set. So the reason behind this being in my top 10, obviously is just because it's my favorite Pokemon. I absolutely love this card. I haven't actually pulled it myself yet. I'm hoping to do some base set boosters on this channel, so may get lucky. I might just pull one for myself, but this is my boy, Blastoise. He's just amazing, and growing up as a kid, he was just the one that I always wanted. So, Blastoise. So coming in at number five, we have again another Blastoise. Now, some of you are thinking, what the heck is this? This is a Tops Pokemon card. 
So back in the day, they used to make tops of Pokemon, and I absolutely love them. They're not worth a lot of money. Some people just look down on them as if they, you know, they're, they're not worthy of being a Pokemon card, but I love tops. I think they're brilliant. I, I love the artwork, I love the shine, I love the holographic pattern. I just think it's amazing. So yeah, this this just brings you back to when I kid. So the story behind this is just a nostalgia, collecting all of the top cards. They were cheaper than boosters, than the base set boosters. You know, you could go out and buy them for a lot less money. And they used to, like, they give you the description of everything on the back. And this is my favorite Pokemon, so this, this yeah, this is up in my collection. Top 10. That was number five. It's so coming in at number four. Probably some of your favorite Pokemon out there. Most of your favorite Pokemon out there. Where, where it all began really for you guys is the base set Charizard. So yeah, this is this is number four in my collection. I, I do love Charizard, I have to admit. He's, he's an awesome Pokemon. Watching the, the series back in the day, getting up, trying to watch it before school and Ash trying to train the Charizard and it wouldn't listen to him. That that sticks in my memory, so... Every, everybody has to have a Charizard. Everybody wants a Charizard, a basic Charizard, an original Charizard. So this is my one, in mint condition. So that's why that's number four, it's just... It's an awesome card, it's awesome artwork. Holographic pattern is amazing. And if you had one of these back in the day in school, you were the king of the fairground. You were the, you, everybody wanted to be your friend if you had one of these. So I never had one, unfortunately. <laughs> but I have one now. I have a few actually. But this is just one of them. So that's number four. Coming in at number three, we have a. Yes, you guessed it. Another Blastoise. So this one is the legendary collection reverse holo Blastoise. Now look at this guy. A lot of you are looking at this thinking, hold on, that's, that's just a fake Pokemon card, that's just a sticker. You guys are wrong. This is the legendary collection, so if you can see the symbol there. So this to me is just such great, such great artwork, such great production of having this reverse. I mean, I wish they brought these back in a way like, look at the fireworks style pattern just going off there. Now unfortunately this one it is damaged, it's got a couple of creases on there, but I don't mind, you know, this just sits in my binder, it, it, it doesn't get taken out and played with, played around with, so that doesn't bother me. It's just an amazing card to own, it's an amazing card to look at, and it's an amazing card for my Blastoise collection, so here's my number three. So my number two. No, it's not another Blastoise, you guys are lucky. What we have is my first ever PSA graded card. So here we have an Erica's Venusaur. PSA graded number nine, as you can see, which means it's mint, but it's not gem mint. If you've got gem mint Pokemon, you won't see any imperfections whatsoever. This one looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's got a couple of nicks, but this was, I bought this about two years ago. I'm not, I'm not a lover of PSA graded cards because I like to get my cards out of my binder. I like to pick them up. I like to hold them in my hand, you know, look at them and just feel them and just say, you know, they're not encased or anything. But I do understand like to keep them sealed is for protection for keeping it forever, which is just an amazing feeling like this this one can't be damaged now unless I take it out which I'm not going to do but the artwork of this card is amazing it's a PSA 9 and it is an awesome looking card Erica's Venusaur from the uh, gym challenge series and yeah awesome so that leads us to number one in my collection just there's, there's a couple of reasons behind why this is number one, and I'll explain them to you, but if you want to have a quick guess what you think number one is, then leave a comment down below. Most of you are probably going to be guessing another Blastoise maybe, but sorry to disappoint you guys. It is a Venusaur, but it's not just any Venusaur. Can you tell why? 
it's a shadowless Venusaur. So if you look at normal basic cards, you will find on the unlimited version, you will find that down the side, you will see a shadow just along the border. If you have a card without a shadow, it's more valuable. It means it's an earlier print re release. It's worth more. It was printed before the unlimited version. And that's the reason why it's worth more. This one here is a Venusaur. So I will be getting this graded, but the reason why it's in my top 10 and the reason why it's number one is because it is absolutely in mint condition. So I'm hoping for a 10 on this. If I get a 10, I'll be very, very happy. Now, the second reason behind this being in the top 10 is because I actually found this card on eBay and I found it for 15 pounds, one five pounds. So converting that into dollars, that's about $20. Yeah, I managed to pick this up for a bargain price of 15 pounds about six months ago. So I'm not sure if the guy knew what he was selling or he just wanted to get rid of it. It was a buy it now, which I could not believe. I bought it as soon as I saw it. I bought it and I was very happy with the condition when it arrived. So this will be getting graded and hopefully I'll be doing a video of my PSA send offs and my PSA returns in maybe a few months time because here in the UK we have to send them out to America and we have to wait for them to get back. So it takes quite a long time. But there we have it, that's my top 10. So if you like that guys, please let me know down below. Like the video, leave a comment, and as always, subscribe, and have a great day guys.